Hi guys, welcome back. It is Wednesday the 13th of December and as you can see I'm on Rigby Road and I'm giving you, well I was about to say a festival leisure park update but now it is called the Bloomfield Central. Look, it's no longer festival leisure park, it's the Bloomfield Central. So seeing as we've only just noticed the steelworks here going up, this is the site where they were going to build the new Starbucks. So I'd imagine this is the new Starbucks are building. I did a little few videos on this a while back talking about it when they were mainly just clearing the site. But I think for now, because there's going to be lots of stuff happening at the Odeon as well, and there's going to be this building going up. Well, it's going up now, you can see the steelworks, and there's going to be more things happening. I might just start this series as number one, Bloomfield Central Development. Because if you want to see the old videos, you know where to look on my channel. So we're going to have a little walk around here and then I'm going to go up that bridge and see if I can film from the bridge. That's where Seasiders Way runs. But first of all, we're going to have a walk around here. There's nothing coming so we can walk straight down the road, straight across the road I should say. I'm just going to get on this other side so I'm not walking down the middle of the road. And we can see here the steel works for what I assume is going to be the new Starbucks. Looks like it's going to be one story because all the crane and big lifting gear is gone. And it looks like a complete little setup for just a one story building. So, yeah. This is just going to be, guys, a one-storey Starbucks. Well, I'm saying Starbucks, that's what it was advertised as. The sun's a little bit in our faces if we go that way. So I'm going to try and just keep the best camera angle to give you guys the best view. So we've seen that bit of steel works there, we can just zoom in on that. That's where the new Starbucks is going to be. I am going to walk around the whole thing and just see what's going on around the back of the old Olvian buildings. There's apparently going to be a Nando's in there. It's going to be storage units in the main part of the building, but there's going to be some retail units along the front. And I did read that we are going to get a Nando's. So, guys, we've got Taco Bell just on the next corner beyond the Bingo 3000. We're going to be getting a Starbucks and a Nando's. All we need as well on top of that is a nice little cookie shop, a KFC, and then we're just in fast food heaven, aren't we? There'll be nothing else a person could need. Apart from maybe a little like Chinese noodle bar, they've got one of those in the Arndale. Well, at least they had one in the Arndale last time I went in the food court. I've not been there for many a year. Right. So yeah, let's have a look around here. Wow, look at this, guys! Gigantic mound of earth here. Let's walk around here. Look at that, and there's people on site as well. That's a massive big pile of earth. That can't have all come from inside there, surely. That must have come from elsewhere in the park. That's come from the Starbucks side, hasn't it, for sure. Because there's nowhere where they've been digging up a gigantic mountain of earth. If I was a little kid and if it was like the mid-70s, there'd be no fence there and all the kids would be climbing up there and scrambling down and getting filthy, dirty and messy because that's what 
little kids did back then. We would all just spot if there was any building sites, any mounds of earth, we would climb up and slide down. It's funny, I was looking at old Gazette pictures on Facebook this morning and somebody had posted some pictures, well it was the Evening Gazette, they'd posted a load of pictures of the Hounds Hill being built and all the scaffolding all around where they built the old Goldberg store and I remembered when I was about 11 or 12 when that was being built and we climbed up to the top of the scaffold, it was either on a Saturday or Sunday because there was nobody working there and there was like planked floors just surrounding the whole perimeter of the scaffolding and we just climbed to the top and we ran around and there were gaps and we were just jumping over the gaps and laughing our heads off like totally dumb little kids had we fallen from the highest level well it wouldn't it wouldn't have ended well but yeah we were just running around the scaffolding playing around and I remember as well when I was a very very little girl I must have only been about six or seven I was with my sister on Whitegate Drive and there was one of those big old houses that was like semi-derelict semi-demolished I remember we just walked in there and ran around in there just playing and running around like it was an adventure playground my sister actually stood on a plank with a nail in and it right into her foot really hurt me she wasn't badly injured or anything but she had a nail in her foot so she just yunked the nail out and to this day she's got a little scar on the sole of her foot where the nail went but I suppose most of the people that watch my videos similar age to me so we've probably all ran around as little kids and played around a building site when we shouldn't have been playing there we just something kids did and if adults said like yo keep away from there it's dangerous you'd think well no i'll be safe i'm sensible i'm not going to do anything stupid i'm just playing but yeah the joys of being a kid in the early early and mid 70s As frankie and benny said people have said that's opening up again but people have also said it's not opening up again So I don't know about that one yet. But we are going to finish the video looking at this new Starbucks site. I am going to call, until I learn otherwise, I'm going to call it the new Starbucks. If it turns out to be something else, then I'm wrong and it's not the new Starbucks. But that is what we're going to call it until I hear of anything else. Can we see through there? Yeah, sort of. Not the best view in the world. There's not really any good gaps to see. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. This video will be called Blackpool Central, The New Beginning, Part 1. Because like I restarted my Foxhall Village series when they restarted the work on there. I'm going to just start this new series with that title. So yeah, we actually quite a nice morning. It's cold for sure, but obviously it's cold. It's December. But we have got a little bit of sunlight, so it feels really good to be out and filming where it's not actually pitch black, dark and raining. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this one and thanks for watching, you know what to do, if you enjoyed the video hit the like button and if you're not subscribed please please think about subscribing if you like my videos. I am trying to get over 7,000 subscribers by Christmas and hopefully I'll manage it and either way I shall see you guys very soon in the next video. Goodbye.